Hey there, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It's time for Full Circle, where yes. we like to spend a little time talking about something that is important to us, and hopefully it's meaningful to you. Mm -hmm. Well, shortly after gospel singer Leandria Johnson, who actually was on Sister Circle Live, made some controversial statements condemning the church and Christianity, the hashtag church hurt started trending mm -hmm. with people sharing stories of painful experiences and even jokes. But for anyone who has experienced disappointment, betrayal, or rejection at the hands of church folk, mm. you know it's no laughing matter. No. Ladies, do yeah. you all have any personal experiences, or maybe not, maybe you or maybe someone you know, that deals with church hurt? Mm. Hmm. It's funny that you would ask that because my mom and I used to go to a church and uh, many years ago. And the one thing that the pastor kept preaching was that Jesus was a sinner. And you know, we all know that to not be true. And I was thinking, we were sitting in the, uh, in the church, uh, um, in the pulpit, and we were just thinking, did we hear what we thought he said? And he kept saying it. And I was like, Ma, is that true? And, you know, it's very unfortunate because you look to for your pastor to be accurate and have leadership. And although they're human, they make mistakes. The fact he kept confirming it, you know, made my mom and I know that this is not the place for us and our, you know, our faith. We're trying to be in a place where we can learn, but also want to be in a place where, you know, the, the pastor is truthful. <laughs> and did that cause you church hurt? Did it did. Hurt you? It, it, so? you know, we have not been to, to that particular church in a long time. Actually, we hadn't been to church in a while up until going to Relentless Church in Greenville with Pastor John Gray. We started going back, and that's been after many years mm -hmm. because we couldn't find a pastor that we trusted. Mm -hmm. Well, I think a lot of times people put so much um, trust mm -hmm. in pastors sure. and, and humans uh, when really it's all about your relationship with God, Personal, Allah, whatever, yeah. whoever, yeah. whoever it is that Buddha, you, Buddha, whoever, whoever it yes. is that you, you serve. Um, but for me, uh, <laughs> my pastor, uh, we have been going to this church for a very long time and there were some rumblings. I was still on the radio at one at this time and, and one of my friends who was at the church, she called, she's like, you may want to, you know, be careful about how you big him up. Because, you know, he has been uh, accused of sleeping with some women in the, in the congregation. Mm -hmm. And so I told my husband, and we, were, we served in the church. Our children went to school there. And at that time, he said, well, God has not told me or told us to leave the church. So we kept serving. And then it happened again. Mm -hmm. And uh, all these accusations were coming up. And I was like, man, I can't. Like, I, I can't. And although the, I, how I prefaced this statement was you can't put trust in, in him. Yeah. But, like, I just couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't have you speaking to me about things, and then you're like doing doing no the same. Thing. You know what I mean? No thing. And so I just I, and we have not been to a church really since then. And I think that happened in 2013, 2014 when we left. And so we haven't really found a church home. And I've been telling you all, diff, you know, uh, up until this point, that I'm just doing something different spiritually. Mm -hmm. I am changing the way I view or view religion, mm -hmm. and really just focusing on my relationship with God and mm -hmm. spirituality. And mm -hmm. so yeah, that is church hurt. I, I feel like my husband really resonated with him mm -hmm. and my husband has not been the same since then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's, and you know, it, it's interesting because I have, me personally, I've never experienced church hurt as far as my church, like doing something to me that um, made me not want to go to church. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then I've always, 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 um, never really put the emphasis into one particular church. I've always focused on my personal relationship with God because one of the churches that I was in, my grandfather was a deacon. The pastor there taught um, personal relationship mm -hmm. and taught how important that was. So I always had that for wherever I go and I travel a lot and stuff. So my current church is House of Hope and Decatur with mm -hmm. Pastor E. Dewey Smith. Yeah, Shout awesome. out to him. I absolutely love Pastor Dewey. But my some of my friends who um, are a part of the LGBTQ community mm -hmm. have suffered from a lot of backlash and negativity mm -hmm. in the church, yes. which I think is completely unfair. And some of the stories that they've, they've told me have been horrendous. Mm -hmm. And I think those stories um, resonate not just through the LGBTQ community, but also through... Um, through all communities right. because all of us have friends and loved ones yes. who are a part of the LGBTQ yes. community. So if you do something to them, it hurts us yeah, too. Absolutely. You know? So I, I'm glad that you you talk you talked about personal relationship mm -hmm. because I feel like at the end of the day, ch you know, church is in your heart. Yes. God is yes. in your heart. And there's so many ways that we can be a part of our, the service. It's about getting the word. Yes. And so sometimes I'll watch it on television or online if yes. I can't get mm -hmm. to church. Mm -hmm. And I would encourage people to, to try and do that as well. But 
the, the church hurt thing, yeah, I definitely feel like it's, it's you have to make it personal for you with you and him because yeah. church is just a, really a place for you to congregate have fellowship and, yes, and, and congregate. With others. Yes. yes, and, and have, be in the presence of him with others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I've never, you know, experienced anything like that from the church. My church experiences have all been great. Mm -hmm. However, um, I do know some some friends and other people, uh, and I've even watched it, you know, from afar. The judgment, the judgment, mm -hmm. God, it's it's so the judgment that takes place in church is ridiculous mm -hmm. and good people we must stop doing that mm -hmm. right. um, people often come to church because they are seeking something yes. Yes. they are Healing. in search of something they're looking to be healed they're looking for hope mm -hmm. if, if if this if, a, if one is coming to church looking for all of those things and who are you to turn them away because they're not dressed nice right. mm -hmm. who are you to turn them away because they have a different so, uh, uh, sexual orientation right. Who are you to turn them away if they were once addicted to something? Right. The church should be a place where you should t should find a place of being whole. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we have to realize that we're all humans, mm -hmm. right? And all you have no judgment for mm -hmm. anyone else. Yeah. And this so would, I don't like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would say uh, the church should be a place where you found you you find we can be welcomed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the end of the day, we're all Love sinners. Yeah. So when we go to and then child, if, if it wasn't the, the gay and lesbian people in the church, it wouldn't be a choir. It wouldn't be you know because that's a lot. <laughs> y oh, honey, let me honey. tell you something. My pastor did a whole sermon some, on that. Whole, right? Because the, yes, the, the, sure and did. sometimes the pastor, like I thought, I went to I went to a church and I thought my pastor was gay and I, I didn't care as long as the word was accurate you mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying and then I've been it's been times where I know people need help you understand what I'm saying? Financial help, need just any kind of help, and the church has turned their back on them. And it had been where my mom and I have helped this person. So it's unfortunate that the church should be a place of refuge, but it's actually not all the time. Right. right. I've been finding refuge in yoga, mm -hmm. and uh, it has really helped me um, spiritually on the mat and with the things that I do on the mat, off the mat. And I just want to thank you publicly for just you know, really encouraging me to do it. And, 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 and I just feel like you gotta find what works for you. Yeah. And I feel like in this world, because of, you know, how we, a lot of us got here, we were taught certain things and now we can't stray away those, yeah. from those things. I've been so afraid to even say, Hey guys, I'm veering away from Christianity because I don't want to be like, ah, yeah, and then right, my mom's yeah. like, did you go to church today? Did you do it? And I'm like, and I want to teach my children. I just don't believe that God, the complexity of who God is would only give us one way to get to him. I just, mm -hmm. I cannot fathom mm -hmm. that. There can't be one way to get to God. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're the only one that's right? I, I can't, I can't well, do yeah. that. He said, I am the truth. I am right. the truth. I am the right. I'm just, uh -huh. about so, the, I'm just talking about the, the religion, the avenues. Yeah. Yeah. Like everybody, oh, he gonna get, the, I, I agree with right. that. Right. There's, there are too many entities in this world that he right. has created yes. Yes. for us to be able to get to him. Mm -hmm. Right, and too many yeah. brains. All of our brains are different. Our fingerprints are different. So we don't think the same. But we right. do have to be careful because some of those channels are not of him. Absolutely. Yes. And some of them are to seek, kill, and destroy. Absolutely. Right. So well, we just have to be very mindful. One message that I have to the church. Stop judging. Right. Love somebody. It's a place, the church is a place of love. Yes. Yes. Stop yes. judging. And help the people that need help. We'd yes. love to hear how you feel. Send us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV on all of our social media platforms.